Welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Aaron from Pen Venture. Welcome to another fountain pen overview. It is time to showcase my latest exclusive collaboration with Leonardo Officina Italiana. And it is a mind blowing concept for a fountain pen. Let me explain. I know that for you that are watching right now is just a simple pen box, but for me, it's so much more. And God, I love to collaborate with Leonardo of China Italiana. Some of the most wildest ideas in regards of exclusive fountain pens of mine, they were flexible enough to try them and they trusted me with these ideas and some of the most incredible, good looking fountain pens on the market are just there because of this partnership. And first of all, I'm grateful to Leonardo of China Italiana and Salvatore Matroni for the pen that we are going to experience today. It's going to be an overview, so I'm going to present a little bit different uh, this incredible creation. We're going to skip a few parts that we already know about this fountain pen because you've seen the thumbnail. You may suspect it's just an exclusive fountain pen. It's based on the Momento Zero Grande series. Yes, yes. But let me tell you that you don't know anything else besides this point. And you're gonna find out. Well, we're just packing for the Dutch pen shop. Uh, our display cases are empty because everything is packed and we are just about to set off. And I said, hmm, I'm gonna do this video because the fountain pens that we are gonna see today are prototypes and most likely they will disappear at the pen shop. But we do have some coming. I said, hmm, this is a good time to record a video and to showcase all of the prototypes. It's an overview of an exclusive collection. Leonardo of China Italiana, based in Naples, around the same year of us, Penventure, both companies, partnership, we have been making great stuff together. And the fun one that we're gonna see today, it's part of the series of exclusive pens that we do once a year with Leonardo of China Italiana that are truly special. And I would like to say, few things regarding the material, but I'm gonna stop here because I want to continue further to just simply tease you a little bit more regarding this creation. Nevertheless, let's showcase how it is presented. So we have this special limited edition box, very simple. Inside you would find a bottle of black ink, a certificate of authenticity with a warranty card and instructions. That's kind of it. But the pen wasn't inside there because the pen is here. By pen, I mean four fountain pens because we do have four fountain pens. Look at this impressive pen. We have a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in black celluloid. Yes, in black celluloid. And the inspiration behind this project was something like this. I said, hmm, Amy, let's go down, let's see. Let's see what other companies haven't tried already. And I know that some of you are some of the most avid collectors of Mont Blanc fountain pens. And the Mont Blanc fountain pens from the vintage golden era were like simple black celluloid. So we outsourced some of that celluloid and we made it into a Momento Zero Grande in black celluloid. Celluloid, you already know the material, what it is. And we said we have to do only 10 fountain pens because in previous years, this is with our Momento Zero Grande Storm, with our Momento Zero Grande Thunder. We talk about the same uh, particular aspect in regards of the collection. So we have only 10 fountain pens and one prototype, which is mine. So 11 fountain pens, 10 collection, one for the company museum. And we said, hmm, we shouldn't stop here. We should do something which is available in multiple trim colors because this is what people want. They want to assort this fountain pens with other fountain pens in their collections, other Leonardo of China Italiana fountain pens. So we said we need four trim colors. We only did one prototype of each trim color. The remaining six fountain pens will be made according to what you will order as a trim color. Are you curious enough to see the other particularities regarding this fountain pen? Uh, we're gonna pick uh, one of the trim colors, but before going there, I'm gonna show you all of them, how they are. So this is the rose gold plated trim, beautiful, modern, a very, very fresh, uh, look and design towards this fountain pen. I would go further and pick the black trim color, ruthenium plated. Uh, we 
have a three ring configuration, the classical Leonardo Momento Zero Grande uh, shape, and the black looks very, very nice, black on black. Then we go forward and we have the rhodium silver trim color, which is modern, beautiful, aesthetic, and it gives out this very clean and elegant vibe towards this trim color. And last but not least, one of my favorites, the gold color trim, because gold and black go so well together. I would like to also mention that we have some pictures done in our studio, and I'm gonna try to see if I can add them as we go along, and we're gonna pick the uh, yellow gold trim as for reference, and I'm gonna show you uh, the complexity behind this project, some of the details and everything. So let's zoom in and let's go and discuss regarding this specific model. Whoa, 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 stop. Emmy, what's the name of the pen? Well, I almost forgot. The name of this fountain pen is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande. I'm gonna miss this part because you will find out soon why. Ultra narrow black in Italian. Let's resume towards the details. Shape-wise, the fountain pen is very simple, just like any other Momento Zero Grande fountain pens, pointy cap finial right here, the clip, which you already know, we have a three ring configuration right here, a minor step down, opposite to the clip, as usual with the Pen Venture exclusive editions, we have the Pen Venture logo right here, and the number of the limited edition right here, which is off 10 and the number of the fountain pen. Let's untwist and here is the surprise. Voila, it's a Momento Zero Grande 2.0. This is the second version. One of my friends mentioned this to me. Amy, if you're doing a black celluloid, it must have an ink window because you would want to see the level of ink inside that pen because it's black celluloid. And I said, well, all Mont Blanc fountain pens had this ink window. So yeah, we accommodated that. So we have an ink window. This is a Momento Zero Grande 2.0. Moving further, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous size 8 14 karat gold nib from Leonardo of China Italiana. And this is available in multiple sizes, but the sizes are scarce. So if you order a fountain pen, be flexible with the nib size choices because we have limited nib sizes in each trim color. And I'm truly sorry for this, but once we will launch this fountain pen, we will try to put what's available in the nib sizes chart on our website. In current times, this is one of the realities that we are facing. The nib sizes shortage is real. So yeah, be flexible enough to choose what we have available. Ebonite feeder, as usual with Leonardo of China Italiana, this is heat set towards this nib. It's friction fitted inside the section. The section is very ergonomic. It's the one with a little bit of flaring towards this part of the nib. And then we have a very nice and a little bit chunky section, which is very comfortable. We have the, the threads right here, which are not sharp at all. And the beautiful ink window, which is smoky. It's a little bit foggy, dark, and I say it's going to be awesome fitting towards this uh, celluloid fountain pen. And just to be sure, this is celluloid. Mm, the aroma of camphor, the Italian Mazzurkelli celluloid. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first 2.0 Momento Zero Grande in celluloid with an ink window. We have this larger ring right here. The barrel starts from the thickest point. It's gonna go down right here. We have this ring, which is from the 2.0 version. And then we have the piston knob. Let's, let's see that piston. So untwisting the piston knob, we bring the piston down. You see it right here in the ink window. You can use the key right here to disassemble this piston and to clean it, grease it, maintain it. We are gonna put everything back together. And just for safe reference, I'm gonna show you the other trim colors as well. So let's untwist and see, this is the rose gold. It goes very nice uh, with the black as well. Let's have a look at the black ruthenium plated. Ooh, black on black. This is again a very, very nice choice. This is the rhodium. This is the classical rhodium trim color. Silver, beautiful, beautiful in all aspects. The, the, the whole concept behind this fountain pen was to make it simple enough, but with precious materials like celluloid. It's black, it, it's, it's a black pen. But look at the details. We have an ink window. We have the size eight gold nib. We have the ebonite feeder. Mm, the celluloid aroma. Every single trim element is nicely plated and it's one of those concepts that simply makes you go forward and to explain this to a person that's not familiar with 
uh, such a fountain pen. So you would say this is not your black resin, this is celluloid. And then you can explain what celluloid. Also, it, it lacks color, it's black, but you're gonna see all of the elements outside of this color. So it's a very complex pen, in my opinion. This is something that I said, it has to go and to be just like modern, Italian, fresh, with trim colors, with different nibs, with piston, with everything. So Leonardo said, let's do it. And we did it. So the Momento Zero Grande 2.0, now we can say 2.0 because I was keeping it as a surprise, Ultra Nero, Ultra Black, it's here. It's a reality and I'm super, super happy regarding this fountain pen. Only 10 pieces, so they're gonna go rather quick. I don't know how many of them will be sold at the Dutch pen show, but we will see. In regards of the overall size of the fountain pen, kept like this, the fountain pen measures 153 millimeters. I'm kept in writing position like so, it's gonna measure 134 millimeters. In regards of the weight, we are gonna have a fountain pen around 30 grams capped and fully inked. So it's a light pen, in my opinion. In regards of posting this fountain pen, please don't post it because it's celluloid, it can scratch. In regards of other aspects, it's comfortable, it's delightful to use, and it's very elegant, this black. It's gonna be one of those fountain pens that I cannot wait to get because basically my prototype, Dash of 10, uh, someone was really trying to get a hold of us, but all the pens are packed, so I'll have to check and see who messaged us. As I was saying, this fountain pen, the Dash out of 10, the prototype, my pen from the company museum is not yet here. So uh, I'm not gonna ink up this fountain pens, but I'm gonna dip one of them in some ink and I'm gonna show you how it's writing this impressive size eight, 14 karat gold nib. In regards of the pricing, we went with this fountain pen at the net pricing, no vet of 900 euros. And in regards of adding the cost towards the European market, if we add the vet, we are around 1,070 euro. So it's a fountain pen, which is not as pricey as one of the colored editions of celluloid from Momento Zero Grande series at Leonardo of Cina Italiana. I think that's it. It's a brilliant pen. It's complex. It's, it's, it's a pen in a nutshell. So you actually need to explain the concept to, to actually grasp the, the overall idea for such a pen. Out of the 10, two are already sold to some of you that are most likely eager to have them. Let's dip one of these fountain pens in some ink and I'm gonna show you how it's writing on a nice paper. And uh, let's, let's give it a try. I have to admit, this is out of the box. I haven't tinkered with this nib or anything, but you can specify in the order notes how you would want your nibs to write and for sure I'm gonna accommodate your specific needs in this regards. But this, this is how it came from Leonardo of Cina Italiana. And we have the pen, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande 2.0 Ultra Nero. And the ink, Leonardo Black, of course. The nib. It's a stunning 14 karat size eight gold. And this is a medium. This is a very, very wet medium. And uh, let's go forward and we have paper. Tomoy River paper 52 GSM. In regards of the wetness, we have a pretty wet nib. Mm, 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 mm. Double pass, very wet. Normal, figure of eights. I would not say this is one of the skinny mediums from Leonardo, flex. Ooh, 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 has some give. We have some line variation. And uh, I'm missing a lot of medium points from my size eight territory. So most likely my favorite nib size uh, to choose on this ultra narrow uh, prototype fountain pen that I will keep for myself would be a medium as well. Although I'm not sure of the trim color. Maybe I would go with rhodium, maybe I would go with gold. I haven't decided yet, but I do have the flexibility of having the fountain pens being ready, just waiting for my 
specifications in regards of the trim color and nib size and they will be made into fountain pass and now let's go and uh, have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog a beautiful riding nib I would like to say it has a little bit more feedback that I am accustomed to with my size 8 gold nibs. I usually go and polish them a little bit more and it's not unpleasant but in my opinion I would go and refine it a little bit more and it's, it's a wonderful rider. This is kind of it. I would have to go and quickly pack everything because my flight is going to be out in I believe 15 hours from now. So if you're coming at the Dutch Pen Show, I think you, we already met because this video will be launched after the Dutch Pen Show. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by at our table. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, if you want the Momento Zero Grande 2.0 Ultra Narrow, be sure to go down because I'm gonna leave you a link and order it in the specific trim color and nib size that you want. We can hope that we will find the specific nib size that you would want on that specific fountain pen. And besides this, thank you so much for supporting the PenVenture YouTube channel, for supporting uh, the PenVenture website and everything that I do for the fountain pen community. Thank you so much if you want to support uh, myself and also what I'm trying to put together on the PenVenture YouTube channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything. And if you scroll down, you'll find the links for this fountain pen and also our website. There you can find my details. Get in contact with me and I will help you with your fountain pen purchase. If you have any questions, any suggestions, anything that you want to say, use the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to have a conversation with you in the comment section. Thank you very, very, very much. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now. Just click there, turn on the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host Henry from Penventure. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.